Magandang buhay, students! I am your Sir Isagani. Welcome to our science channel. Today, we will learn about visible light. But before we proceed, do not forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to be updated for our new uploaded science video lessons. Based on our previous lesson about waves, all types of electromagnetic waves can be found in the electromagnetic spectrum. It is a chart showing the range of its frequencies, wavelength, and energy. One of the types of the electromagnetic waves is the visible light. It is found in the middle of these electromagnetic waves. Visible light waves are the only electromagnetic waves that we can see. We can see these waves as the colors of the rainbow. How these colors produced and who discovered it? Let us know this. On the next slide. In the late 1660s, English physicist and mathematician Sir Isaac Newton was the first to make a systematic study of colors through a triangular shaped glass prism. He demonstrated that once light strikes in the prism, it separates into different band of colors. This process is called dispersion. Newton called this band or spread of colors a color or visible light spectrum. This color spectrum can be seen also in the rainbow. How many colors do we see on it? What are these colors in the rainbow? During our elementary days, we have an acronym with these colors. And this is the Rojibith. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. As we said earlier, Electromagnetic waves have their range of frequencies, wavelength, and energy, same as in color spectrum. Among the seven colors in the visible light spectrum, red has the longest wavelength and lowest frequency and energy, while the violet has the shortest wavelength and highest frequency and energy. Can we consider black and white as colors? What do you think? The answer is no. Why? Because black is similarly not a color itself, but it is the absence of light. Objects appear black when they absorb light of all visible frequencies. While white light is the combination of all visible color, frequencies rather, sunlight is an example of white light. White light also or white also results from the combination of red, green, and blue light. When we combine red and green color, it produced yellow color. When we combine red to blue color, it produced the magenta. And when we combine blue to green color, 
it produce color cyan. Now, let us summarize what we have learned in this lesson. First, visible light is the only electromagnetic wave that can be seen. Second, Isaac Newton used a prism or a triangular shaped glass prism to show that light consists of different colors. Third, dispersion is a process in which a prism separates the white light into band of colors. Fourth, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, or the roji bill, are the seven band of colors of visible or color spectrum. Fifth, red has the longest wavelength and lowest frequency and energy. Sixth, violet has the shortest wavelength and highest frequency and energy. Seventh, white and black are not considered as colors. And last, white also results from the combination of red, green, and blue light. I hope you have learned a lot in this lesson. If you want to know the characteristics of light, click this next video for you to find out. Again, I am your Sir Isagani. Have a nice day. Let us continue to be a light for each and everyone. See you next time!